This is the Computer Programming University and today we're going to do a quiz creation script in Corn Shell. So this is an educational channel and I want you guys to pick up the skills that I'm teaching here as quickly as possible. I think it's really smart to use some of the languages that we're learning as part of our educational process in terms of let's create tools to help us learn right so quizzes are a great way to learn and to practice your knowledge so it'd be great to have interactive quizzes that you can take on a regular basis to keep your skills sharp right long term we'll make them modular so you can update questions and things like that but i want to build the basic framework today so what we're going to do is in corn shell i'm going to build a basic quiz and then from this, we're going, to be, we're going to build a quiz creation program that's actually going to create quizzes for us. So you can just type in questions and answers, and then it creates an interactive quiz for you. So you can spit out a whole bunch of quizzes. Um, but the critical part is going to be the ability to modify and maintain these quiz scripts. So that's going to be the big thing. That's going to be the advanced lesson that we're going to cover um, down the line. But let's just get started with a basic quiz. All right, so let's just go into create a directory here. So let's go into VIM and start our quiz. So let's say quiz one, quiz X. This is experimental, right? Dot sh. Boom. Go in here. Start off with your shebang. User bin ksh for corn shell quiz program. Basic structure should be question answer score update and then again question answer final score well that's actually the last step so let's just say score update so in, when, it, when it's done then you do final score or scoring all right to score the quiz we're going to need to keep track of the mathematics so let me add some variables we can set the variables so let's say score equals zero we can say uh, question number. I'll just say QNUM equals zero. And then points equals zero. So we'll go down to the question section. We can ask a question. The way you ask a question is, and actually let's do this in pseudocode format, right? So let's do um, echo what is water? Read input. All right, so whatever they type in to variable. So we need a variable for the answer and the correct answer. So we'll use the er answer for whatever the user types in. Correct answer will be the correct answer. So read that variable. So now we're going to print. I should actually said print. This is just pseudocode, remember. So this is just concepts, right? print answer all right whatever the answer variable is i'm sorry not the answer we want to want to print the correct answer so c all right then we're keeping track of a score so we have score we have question number and we have points so i would say we should increment the question number before the actual question so let's uh let's uh add one to q num if answer equals correct answer so if the user entered the correct answer then points equals points plus one all right so we just added one point if the answer was correct and then we have another question we're gonna do the same thing that we did above so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna simply copy this let's copy that put it down here so it's question number one so we have question number two and then we do the final scoring so score equals 100 times points divided by question number just basic mathematics there getting percentage score print score is 100 times points divided by question number just so it can actually display to the user and we can do something like print 
Total questions answered. QNUM. Print dollar sign points. Correct answer. And then we print finally. Score was dollar sign score. And then let's start putting in markers. I'm not sure how these markers are going to work, but we want to make sure we have markers to indicate where the quiz begins and ends. So let's say begin, right, and end. And just to be sure, let's make this a little bit more unique just in case I actually end up putting a note in there that says pound and then begin, right? So let's say Q begin. Mm, let's do something more unique. Let's do dash dash Q begin. You're not going to see that anywhere else. And what these are, again, these are markers. When we make this modular, we want something that we can find because we'll need to, let's say Q end. Okay. Let's say we want to modify this, this uh, script, right? Let me talk to you guys for a second. So we make this modular, we're going to make this so that you can be able to mo modify it in the future. And if you're going to be able to modify it in the future, you'll need a way to target the beginning and ending of the script um, or the quiz itself, the quiz logic, right? Because if you're going to add to the end of this, the quiz, then you'll need to find the exact end of the quiz logic, right? So you can do a search for that and you know that's the end of the quiz, so you can start adding other questions. But actually, let's make a correction here. I think I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, if we take a look at this here, um, I have the end here under this. But this should always be the very bottom of the quiz, right? Because if I add a question here, then th the scoring is above the question, which that should never be the case. So let's take this and move it up, all right? So when we make this modular, we'll look for the Q end, right? And then we'll just start adding more, more and more questions. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. That should work. All right, so again, this is just pseudocode. So now we'll need to actually clean this up and make it uh, a little bit more functional. That completes part one of our quiz script. That's just pseudocode. Tomorrow, we're actually gonna convert the pseudocode into actual code. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to write them below. And um, until tomorrow, this is a computer program university. The well, first step is to smile. Shout out to my CPU squad, Mega Noob, Naraz, MJ Shahid, Dry Ice, every single one of you guys. Love the support and there's much more where this came from. All right, thanks for watching, and have a great night, everybody. CPU squad.